The number one thing is to understand your account health status and what that means to your account. So not paying attention to your account health can have some big consequences if you're not on top of it. Right. Uh, so I'll tell you from, from for us, the recent story around that is that we learned a lot about account health and that that's an actual team that is separate from the enforcement, what this guy was telling me, the enforcement police at Amazon and separate from general support. So the first line of defense, when you think about, you know, my listing's gone bad or, or, uh, uh, or my images aren't updating, I'm trying to do all this catalog stuff. That's not them. They are the people that if you get a performance notification, that's the folks to talk. Something has gone completely wrong in your account or somebody's coming after you with a, a complaint. These are the folks that, that have that button. Call me. Goes to them and they internally communicate with all the different um, stakeholders. So if it's enforcement police, if it's legal, they're going to be the folks that are there. And they just started working two years ago as a team. So they're fairly new in the Amazon world Yeah, when it comes to this. Yeah, I think they roll. I remember they rolled it out like in beta to some bigger sellers. Um, and then now I think like everyone, just about everyone has access to account health. So I think the big takeaway from there is like, you got to pay attention to that stuff. Like oh, don't yeah, no ignore doubt. these programs that Amazon's rolling out. They're rolling them out for a reason. And if you avoid them, you're not going to be able to leverage them. Right. So pay <laughs> attention to that account health dashboard. Uh, and hopefully you've got someone on your side. And the important thing there, Nick, that I was I was told is that you want to pay attention to the score. And some people have like a thousand. I don't know a lot of people do, but it's based on volume. That mm -hmm. takes into account part of the score. So if you're selling one item a day and let's say you have 10 violations, it's going to appear differently than if you sell a hundred items or a thousand items a day and you have those same 10 violations, your score is going to be lower. I'm sorry. Yeah, your score is going to be lower the less you sell, mm -hmm. even though somebody may have the same number of violations. So the higher volume, the smaller the impact. I was reading how some seller had like hundreds of suspected IP violations, but his score was still good because he had a high number of orders on a daily basis. Yeah. Yeah, man. It reminds me, I don't know why it makes me think of this, but you know, I started out as an FBM seller on Amazon and your ODR metric, your order defect rate, something we always paid attention to. Um, and your FBA orders used to impact your ODR in a mm. positive way as an FBM seller. And it was just such an easy way to like get your metrics looking better. Yeah. Um, because those FBA orders went out and they got delivered on time, you got credit for that as an FBM seller. Uh, and that was kind of like, it was kind of like a loophole, right? Like the yeah. more FBA orders I get, the better my FBM metrics look. Uh, and Amazon, of course, closed that. Um, you know, Amazon catches up to this stuff quickly, man. Like they're, they're not stupid, they're not dumb, they're Amazon, they've got more data That's than anybody. You ain't fooling them. And then that's why you can't give away the secrets, man. That's it, what I, I mean. I, I've been told, and I know this from being around for a while now, that they uh, Amazon does pay attention. I don't know if they do moderation, like from humans, or if they just have automated bots that scour and scrape websites. But I know that they do have folks that are paying attention to social media. They are paying attention to what podcasts, what are said on podcasts. They are paying attention to groups, uh, particularly Facebook groups. Uh, they're paying attention to what's being said, because if it's something that's costing them money, they want to close yeah. that loophole. I know we're going to talk about closing loopholes in a little, in yeah. a little bit.